Where are you going? The next Mystic Fix is about astral travel, time travel, and who knows what else. Check it out. Mystic Fix, a program for the whole being with Julia Gordon Bramer on News Talk STL. Welcome to Mystic Fix. I'm Julia Gordon Bramer. Where are you going? Personally, professionally, spiritually? Do you believe in time travel, past lives, and afterlife? This episode of Mystic Fix is aligned with the Chariot Tarot card, who is ambitious and driven, as well as a card for all kinds of travel, physically and spiritually. And on the subject of spiritual travel, I have two fascinating authors on this show, Mark Mirabello, who wrote A Traveler's Guide to the Afterlife, and Von Brashler, who has just released Seven Secrets of Time Travel. First, let's meet Von. I am talking to author Von Brassler, uh, who wrote Seven Secrets of Time Travel. This is uh, recently published from Inner Tradition. And welcome, Von. Hi, nice to be with you. Hi, thanks. Uh, so, so tell us a little bit about Seven Secrets of Time Travel. Uh, this is obviously not in the physical realm. We're not talking about speeding up airplanes or anything. We're, this is more of a spiritual uh, astral travel, correct? Yeah, it's like astral travel. I, I think to really travel in the in, uh, beyond space and time, you need to travel in an energy body that would be in, including the astral body. It would include the mental body, the causal body, the, the higher spiritual bodies, what we would call our energy bodies or subtle energy bodies, that each one corresponds to a plane of existence, just as real as the physical plane. And, and and actually impact the physical plane. Okay, so you, you've mentioned a, a number of different kinds of bodies here. Um, yeah. how, how do we know which, which body we're moving in? <laughs> well, ideally, you, you, you go in all of them. I think the trick is to to reach a, a point of, of, um, of um, accessing an inner self. The inner self would be the spirit self, would be where your consciousness really resides, not your mental consciousness, not your, your physical mental consciousness, but a higher spiritual consciousness that connects you to the greater cosmic consciousness all around us in, and in all. Okay, okay. So, um, so this is very much a form of meditation, correct? It, yes, it is. Meditation would be a primary way that people would reach this inner consciousness or this spirit to unlock the inner spirit within you, um, it, it, it is not the only way. You could do it in a in a, in a in a lucid dream, which you could actually program to have a lucid dream. You could do it in a daydream. It could be a deja vu moment. <laughs> you know, it could be a, a moment of enlightenment when you're in nature and in experiencing the the wonder in all in, in all of creation. That sense of being one with all. Okay, yeah. Um, in, a, in a previous conversation that you and I had, uh, I, I shared that as a, as a child, I had a, a very magical moment. Uh, I was probably seven or eight years old, and I was uh, walking through a, a cow pasture uh, by, by my home, and, and I came upon a little stream and a peach tree and, and some daffodils growing wild in the banks of, of this stream. And it was one of those Jungian kind of uh, synchronicities or, you know, everything just seemed to be right. And it was my place of peace. And, and for a long time, I used to go there. And, uh, and I realized in hindsight, I was meditating. And, I, I, you know, it was just my place to kind of unplug and get away from a, a family that was falling apart. And, and uh, you know, and, and, and I still go there today, even though. It's long gone, and I've moved a thousand miles away. But it is my my place in my in my consciousness to to root into and and return to. Um, the only other place I do this is is the beach, you know, yeah. where I where I feel completely one with nature and and complete relaxation. And so yeah. this is you would say this is a form of astral travel, correct? 
Uh, in, in this case, when you return to it, yes. I mean, I have a similar place that I established when I lived in on Mount Hood in Oregon. And it was beside a river. It was beside the river. It was it was in a, in, um, a grove of trees, a little forest woodland lot area. And and it was perfect, you know, and, and I, I, re, I arranged the, the rocks and I arranged, you know, some of the uh, leaves and, 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 and some of the flowers, vegetation there. And I, I I have to tell you the the sky parted, and 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 a big cloud in the in the shape of a woman's face smiled down upon me. I don't tell that story to many people, but you, Julia. But it you know it it is a special place, and 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 then when you've been there, you can lock it into your consciousness. It is a place you can return to, you know. And and I I encourage people to have a place like this. It, it's it's a healing place. It's a special place. It is your special sacred place I, I think it's a place of sanity uh, especially in in these hard times don't you yes yes we're, we're we're not really fixed into this space and time except that we're fixated on this space and time and therein lies the problem you know we are uh, ruled by a uh, three-dimensional view and five physical senses so we're fixated on where our, our our feet are, are positioned on the ground and what we see around us at this moment with our limited perceptive skills, physical perceptive skills. But there is a, a greater set of, of, of perceptive skills, which would be called awareness. And right. awareness comes from the spirit within our inner intelligent energy that we would commonly call consciousness, which is our link to cosmic higher consciousness. Right. I, I think Albert Einstein said time is an illusion, albeit a persistent one. <laughs> Something yes. like that. Yeah. It, absolutely. So if somebody were to pick up your book, Seven Secrets of Time Travel, uh, what would they be expected to be, you know, masters at, at meditation or, or, you know, do they have to have any skills to benefit from, from time travel or, or to pursue it? Well, that's a good question. And people think, oh my gosh, I can't begin to follow Einstein down this rabbit hole because even he couldn't figure out how to actually do it. He could just tell you that we all have a, a, a subjective different approach to time and experience time differently. You, you know, uh, your perception of time might be different from ours. When you're in a fire or an accident, you perceive time very differently, don't you? So we see we can stretch time and it is uh, or, 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 or condense time. And it is a skill that you acquire when you learn that you have this perceptive skill when you tap into your inner awareness. That's so interesting. Uh, you know, I think of uh, so I'm I'm sort of a fitness buff, and I think of times when my schedule has been really crammed, and I think, oh, I couldn't possibly fit in a walk or a workout, and and but then when I do, it seems that time expands for me, and I can somehow make room for everything on my list, even though it didn't seem like I had time to take care of myself. So, yeah, so I never thought of that as a form of, of time travel in a yeah. way. I, I like the quotation of, of John Lennon, uh, life is what happens when you're busy making plans. Yeah, right, <laughs> for sure. So um, do you think of, I mean, uh, are, are there many different kinds of astral travel? Uh, it seems to me in, in my work as a tarot card reader and a psychic, we can we can return to the past and do yeah. some healing. Yeah. Sometimes having work with you know, having conversations with people who have passed um, yeah. to, to, to heal our own stuff, to get our own understanding. We can yeah. get futuristic. Yeah. I have I have met and, and I have people planning to come on my show um, who you know, believe that they are talking to aliens and, and you know, do, do you, do you include that in the spiritual sort of I, realm? Well, I, I guess the short answer is yes. I think that there are many voices out there, many spirits, and there are many realities, alternate realities, alternate planes of existence, alternate universes in an in, in alternate version of you, you know, and, 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 and to experience all of that is to become fully alive and aware and, and, and to integrate and to begin to grow as a spiritual person on this great, great journey that we're all on, 
that we call life's journey. And this journey can be a hero's journey. Right, which is echoed by the fool card in the tarot. And and yeah. uh, as I told you, um, I asked you onto this particular show, uh, which is aligned with the chariot, which is all about travel in, in various ways. So, um, so you are, of course, perfect with <laughs> the idea of astral travel. And, um, and travel is inner and outer, right? I mean, we, yeah. we can have deeply moving experiences without going anywhere, or, or yes. we could go to sacred sites. Absolutely. Um, and sometimes, just like I told you, that, that little place from my childhood, that's a sacred site to me, uh, even if it's not a, a temple or, or, or an altar. Absolutely. Our, our physical body is limited as to where we can go in time and space. But our spirit, our, our, our inner consciousness is pure energy, intelligent energy, and it can go virtually anywhere, uh, uh, irregardless of limitations of time and space. And, and so, yes, absolutely you can go to any of these places. Right. And, and science has proven that uh, everything is energy. Uh, you know, everything comes down to moving atoms. And, and yep. uh, you know, a, a big uh, affecting book for me. Uh, now, this is really dating me, showing my age a little bit. But Jonathan Livingston Seagull, I don't know if you remember that book and, and how the Seagull transcended time and space <laughs> and yeah uh, yeah and, a and profound then, book yeah it always i mean that's probably going back to like 1976 or something you know i i know i read it i was just a girl when i read it uh but uh but that impacted me on on ways of thinking on the world and uh and that we don't have the world's the, the limitations that we think we do yeah um, yeah, isn't that interesting how certain things come to us? Like, who would have thought that a, a sixth grader would, would yeah. pick up this paperback about this seagull and, and be spiritually transformed? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, we, we, we sometimes think of these things as uh, far out. You know, shamans do this, mystics do this, others who can transcend into alternate states of consciousness can do this. But the average person cannot. It's like everybody can. The psychiatrist puts you on the couch and you go back to when you were a child. But then we see in books like uh, Journey of Souls, where you can go into your past lives. And that's been documented time and again, thousands yeah. of times over. And, and, and sometimes people will say, well, aren't you really talking then in, in this sort of uh, a, uh, approach to time travel of interdimen interdimensional travel? And they say, well, 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 yes, because we're limited in the physical world to a three-dimensional reality. We're going beyond those, those three dimensions. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And, and I would say to people who sort of poo-poo the idea, I mean, there's so much healing in it that who cares? You know, if your physical body isn't, is or is not going somewhere or not, yeah. uh, we, we, we don't have a way to prove the consciousness where the consciousness is going. We can't measure that because this they is... It's a, you know, it's it's very subjective, and every person sees this, and it's it's never photographed, right? Yeah, yeah. There are no recordings of this, so so you you come back, but but I mean, I I encourage people to find a place that like you found in nature, and like I found in nature and others, because that is a special healing place. It is a place where your soul can be enriched, and you could observe things, and you can return to this place over and over again. It is a very special place. Yeah, isn't it interesting that nature, it all comes back to that, which is another element of that first card in the major arcana in, in the tarot, the fool yeah. card. I mean, yeah. you know, and and uh, and he is our, uh, our 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 Bacchus or Dionysus, you know, for, yeah. from nature, from you know, the the original uh what what they call the base man who has yet to develop, you know, he's got this long, long journey ahead. But that's yeah. where our peace is, is yeah. in where we green, are some people call it the green man right you know yeah. it's the ho horned wood in the forest you know and it, it is uh, an archetype sure going going back to young and it it it, it is um it, it calls to us to to explore nature because nature can unlock all of this because nature knows all of the cycles it knows that time is endless 
because the seasons continue to one flows into the other. And so it is with all of life. It all transforms into another. There is no death. And in life, as most of us experience, it does not exist because we're not fully awake. We're in the sleeping phase, waiting to awaken. Yeah, now you're making me think of um, the Garden of Eden story in the Bible, because maybe maybe you know that uh, it says they fell asleep, but yeah. it never says they woke up. And I've always been entranced by that idea that that even in the Bible, it, it's very, very Buddhist, that this is all the yeah. illusion, that, yeah. that sin, that the, the world troubles, the pain is all illusion, and it's, it's here for us to learn. And, and manage, perhaps. The secrets uh, and, are all around us, and, and they're just planted everywhere in nature where we can see it that and enjoy it and, 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 and learn from it. You know, it, it, for most people, when they fall asleep and have these lucid, vivid dreams, it may be the first time in their life that they're fully awake. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? And, and there's so much richness in dreams, you know, in, in just the symbolism and and, uh, you know, that, that's a whole other show, of course. Yeah. But, uh, but well, well, Vaughn, in, in our last minute, what would you uh, like to leave with, with our listeners? Do you, um, you know, is, is there uh, something that they could practice now, even before they get, their, get your book? Sure. I mean, all of life is to be explored. You know, the great journey is not just getting up and making coffee as I start my every day. But, but it is much, much more, you know, and, and, and we, we are here to grow and to explore and to enrich our souls in this everlasting thing we call uh, life's destiny, life's journey, the mission of the soul. And, and, and it, is a, it is truly a, a journey that one walks alone, and it is an inner journey inside yourself. Mm, mm. Vaughn, uh, how could people reach you if they wanted to connect with you or, or learn more information about you? Uh, you know, I, I, I try to keep my um, Amazon writer's um, uh, guide, you know, um, site updated. Uh -huh. And you can go to my, my Facebook and you can see all the pictures of nature that I include. It's uh, facebook.com backslash V Brashler. And uh, I welcome people to go there. And uh, and uh, I'm here and there. I'll be in uh, Chicago in uh, October for uh, Infinity Foundation. There'll be a workshop, which could be accessed even online, um, if, if you like. And we'll be discussing a lot of these questions. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, uh, your publisher, Inner Traditions, will be giving uh, one lucky listener a free a copy of Seven Secrets of Time Travel if they uh, write, write at mysticfix.com. Go to our uh, website for that. And I just want to thank you so much for your time. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll you. have you on again. Thank you for the show. Thank Next up, author Mark Mirabello discusses his latest release, A Traveler's Guide to the Afterlife. Maybe you've been there? I guarantee we'll all go there one day. You're listening to Mystic Fix on News Talk STL. 1019 and 941 